Yeah, so um, what I'm probably most famous for recently, or like of the past four years, is um, I was actually taking one of Michael's classes for undergrads um, because he was teaching interactive narrative, and so I took that as a, as a grad student. Um, and I had taken the same class with him in 2005 at Georgia Tech. Um, and from 2013 to th 2005, like a ton of different stuff had happened in interactive narrative. Like all these new games had come out. Like the, the field was completely different. Um, but there was one assignment that was, um, it's called uh, story grammars. And this is kind of the idea of making like a little uh, uh, Mad Libs for the computer to run. You know, what, it, uh, what is it to make a story grammar for something like... Um, uh, is it a Scooby-Doo mystery? Like, okay, the van breaks down in some way, a mystery is revealed, um, some sinister things happen, and then the, like the, they unhood the person, and it turns out it was the real estate investor. Uh, and you can kind of make yourself a little Mad Libs for what that would be, like different ways for the van to break down, different spooky things to happen. Um, and so uh, both times, a decade different, this was a pencil and paper assignment to make one of these story grammars. Um, what I did was I was learning JavaScript at the time, so I made myself a little JavaScript language that would do that. Um, and then I released it open source. Um, uh, that was a language called Tracery. Uh, that got picked up by somebody in the UK who then made a platform to host Twitter bots on it. Um, that became wildly successful. Um, so now I'm the proud grandmother of roughly 8,000 Twitter bots um, that we know about that are running on that particular thing, unless Twitter has like banned all of them in the last week, which they're kind of working on. Um, and then heaven knows how many other projects. Um, it's open source, so nobody is required to tell me anything about what they're making with it. Um, so we hope none of the sinister bots, but we're not sure. Uh, but a lot of really fantastic different art experiments. It's DJ the London uh, music event, um, so which is, I think, the most DJing that any of, the, any of our lab projects have done. <laughs>